So today we were doing a boat survey as part of the annual population count for the harbour seal in the Greater Thames Estuary. We do this through three aerial transects, two boat transects and a few land transects to get a really good idea of how many harbour seals are calling the Thames Estuary their home. And so each time that we see a seal we put in a waypoint on our GPS and we count how many seals we see and that all comes part as a big count for the whole estuary. We're doing the survey from Gravesend and out to the east, uh, covering the outer Thames estuary. And where the public is really important, it's for central London. So we rely on sightings by members of the public in that area to understand how marine mammals use the inner estuary and the tidal Thames um, in central London. We have been completing the Thames Marine Mammal Sighting Survey for the last 10 years and over a thousand Londoners have submitted sightings to the survey which is absolutely fantastic. So using that information we found areas which are hot spots of sightings. So these are areas where more people are spotting marine mammals than any other parts in London. One of which is Canary Wharf, which is really exciting and really interesting. And this may be due to the high-rise glass buildings with a lot of people being able to see the open water around. Or it might actually be due to seals being attracted to this location because of Billingsgate Fish Market and maybe they're waiting there to get scraps from the fish. So what's great about the public sightings is that we're getting really good understanding of where marine mammals are using the Thames estuary in central London. And we can use that information to better conserve and manage the marine mammal population in what is a really busy urban estuary which has a number of uses but is also an important ecosystem and habitat for these top predators. So it's really important to um, monitor the, the marine mammal population both using the public sightings to understand whereabouts they are, but also with our annual population survey so we can get a better understanding of how many animals there are. And with these two elements we can then look at changes over the different years and also areas which are more important to the, them than other areas of the estuary. If anyone sees a seal, porpoise, dolphin or even a whale, it would be great if they could let us know using our online map at www.zsl.org forward slash in the Thames. If they report their sighting through that, it's logged into our database and we use that information for our conservation work.